I think that we're currently uh, witnessing the greatest migration humanity has ever known. And that's the migration of populations from the countryside into the cities. We have 50% of the world's population currently in cities. By the middle of the century, it'll probably be around 70, 75% of the population. And that actually is really good news because cities get a bum rap for the by and large. A lot of people think that cities are a bad thing for the environment and are, are dehumanizing for people. In fact, all the evidence that we've looked at indicates the opposite. If you take pollution, uh, levels of pollution per capita, when you take into account the density, are far lower in cities than they are in the countryside. If you look at things like um, uh, technological hazards, uh, fatalities from road accidents, they're much lower in cities than they are in the countryside. Uh, if you look at uh, things like even the susceptibility to, uh, uh, to infectious disease, a lot of people think that putting people together in a city makes infectious diseases more dangerous. Uh, in fact, it makes it a lot easier to get uh, medical attention to and uh, prophylactic uh, measures into place with an urban population than with a rural population. So the fact that we're moving people into cities is good news for nature, and it's good news for people too. You can get better delivery of services, higher levels of education, more job opportunities, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's all on the upside. The downside, I think, is that um, uh, as soon as you start to uh, harness the creativity of cities and, and, and the density of population, and you start to put down infrastructure, such as roads, sewers, water supply, that kind of thing, you're locking into patterns of behavior that are going to be literally made concrete for uh, tens, hundreds, in some cases, even thousands of years. The road plans of most of the centers of Europe's major cities were laid down in Roman times or at least medieval times at the latest, and we still uh, stick to those patterns of settlement. And that's why we need to be very careful about what we're doing now when we have the opportunity, as humanity does in, for example, China, uh, under a very directed program, in a much more piecemeal way as is going on in India, uh, to construct new cities. Because basically what we need to recognize is that we are putting into place in those new cities the architecture that will be there for a thousand years.